My work as a storyteller has taken me to the most remote places on the planet. I feel privileged and grateful. I've seen auroras over the Arctic Circle. I've gotten lost among bears in the wilds of Alaska. Walked to the foot of Everest. And I have crossed the Great Passage to Antarctica. And sometimes, when we think of epic stories, we imagine the other side of the world. Mountains and snow, wind and storms. And when we think of happiness, we project ourselves thousands of kilometers from where we belong. The essence of travel. Learning. The warmth of a fire. Wise words. Are there? In this place that we inhabit, or where we settle. I feel like I don't need to reach a summit or the end of the world. Not even name places. This place, my place, it is no place, and it's the closest thing I know to infinity. I owe this place stories of friendship, love, forgiveness, knowing myself and to know people who have never let me go my hand. <laughs> I owe this place the best sunsets of my life and the most tender awakenings. <laughs> and now that I have a family and children, I see they are fascinated by the unknown. And they dream of distant volcanoes, wild animals, jungles, cabins in remote places. was the best kept secret. What if the stories of the near have the magic that we long for?